Hello friends, I hope you all doing well. This is Hema Sharma. On request of you all, today we are here to discuss about how to prepare the SOP of CSC. Friends, this is very small video for just introduction about how can we prepare the SOP related to CSC in our organization. First of all, for every SOP, we should have some objective like the computer system validation or computer system assurance we are doing for our organization is scope where is this scope means for the gxp system and all accountability who will be accountable for this sop responsibility how can we distribute the responsibilities like who will be the third party uh, what is the system owner who will be the process owner what is the role of quality assurance and all in the case of pro in part of procedure first of all we have just uh, we have to just characterize about hardware and software what is the categories of hardware uh, what is what are the categories of the software like this then general requirement what is the basic requirement we need for any uh, csv or computer and inventory of the computer system then computerized system life cycle approach. This approach is divided into the four part like concept, project, operation and retirement. And in concept, first of all, what is the concept? Concept means what is the initial development? It's like how can we just think about for new software for any activity like this? So what is the scope and what is the cost? What is the benefit? What are the benefits? And what is the decision of that for pro proceeding the project phase? Like this in completely coming concept phase. Now project phase. In the project phase, first of all planning. Then what will be the specification and configuration and verification? Then reporting and release. So it's coming the project phase. So project phase first is planning, preparing project plan. What is your actually plan? First step. Second, developing requirement means what is your URS is specific for your software, modules, and add-on facilities and all. Stage three, supplier assessment, vendor audit or selection. Stage four, verification of development activities. Stage five, your GXP assessment or initial risk assessment when you are going to install your software specification configuration and coding part in this part we need functional specification design specification sat then uh, is iq oq and functional risk assessment and traceability matrix then verification part pq is come when we check the performance of our software according to our requirement then reporting and release means whatever we achieve with this validation project part and how can we release the software for routine use. Then operational phase, in operational phase, we can divide into the two part, part one and part two. In part one, first of all, stage first, when you are going to hand over your software to user. Second, what will be the service management? What is the AMC and all? Third, incident management, CAPA and uh, then change management how can you upgrade your system with the change management system or if you got an incident how you handle that and uh, what type of sops you can refer in this part like all these things then security and system administration uh, how you secure your software your data come in this part then record management how you record all these things operations and uh, uh, your uh, incident change all the things how can you record that then periodic review what are the parameter you considered in the periodic review and how can you assess your incident your deviation your changes uh, in a particular time period come in this periodic review part then backup and restoration whatever the sops you are uh, referring here you can refer that business continuity planning and disaster recovery planning. So these all come in part one of operation. And then part two is revalidation. When you are planning for the revalidation. Okay. Then retirement, 
retirement initial initiating the retirement process what will be the process to initiate the retirement then drafting a ret uh, retirement plan how you draft that collection of system document then migration of critical data to new system what will be the criteria what will be the risk and all documentation of latest configuration setting removal of data from the hard disk to existing system taking the system out of the service and then numbering system you have to define you can add your definitions you can add the training procedure when will be the applicant trainings formats you can design you have to design after all like uh, inventory management of your computer system qualification protocols vendor audit cautionaries urs gxp analysis protocol fra revalidation cycle gap analysis of your computer system functional specification design specification retirement so this is the very small and brief introduction how can we write the sop detailing each and every step is a different part of uh, the video so please whenever you are going to prepare the sop always remember the risk the critical thinking that in all the cycle in complete cycle computer system validation cycle or you, you can say your computer system life cycle in each step what you required on the basis of that design your sop on the basis of your organizations prospective management benefits all the things are here so that in the future you can easily assess the things and always there is a scope of improvement so remember this also so maximum part you can cover in sop uh, by using your critical thinking or risk assessment part so it will be help you to prepare your best sop if you uh, can do the risk analysis very well so this is very small introduction then abbreviation reference all the things you can add and this is all about this introduction of how can we prepare the csv sop for any question you can write me on my mail id i will come back with another video for you till then you remain happy and under compliance goodbye thank you